Not a lot of people grew up in Las Vegas. A lot of people immigrated over here. My father was in the military. I grew up mostly in Europe and joined the military, came here, ended up staying here, got this job 10 years ago, and I've been a sergeant for two years now in charge of Central Booking Bureau. Uh, I got 12 people that work under me, and my responsibilities are their safety and the inmates' safety. Uh, we just got called. We have a Code 5 male coming into the facility. I'm going to go out and talk to him, see if we can get him to walk in. Extremely uh, intoxicated. Okay. Uh, domestic violence. He's just been bashing his head inside there. He tried eating through the seatbelt. Okay. Um, Has he been spitting or anything? Yeah, a little bit. Get a spit mask on him, then we'll put him in the restraint chair. Control his head, watch his face. We're securing his head until we get a spit mask on him. You know what I did? I, I, got, I got treated like this all day. For no reason. Step out. Sit down. No, he's sideways. Like Alright James, we're gonna bring you guys as great about people. It, right? As soon as you calm down yourself, yeah. we'll take you out of the crib. Was actively combated with the rest of the officers, uh, intoxicated. Until he calms down and stops hurting himself, we're gonna put him in the restraint chair. Uh, as soon as we can, he probably end up in isolation. And if I ever got a chance, I'd bite your face off. That's what's up. What happened with him out on the streets? Uh, it was a domestic. He's okay. a little too intoxicated. Uh, got into a fight with his roommate. Uh, he was naked when we got there. Oh, OK. Um, <laughs> they were wrestling with him, trying to, to hold him down. Well, we got him in there, so hopefully he'll cool down. Hopefully. We'll see. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you think so? Hold on, sir. Hold on one second. So. Okay, let's take him upstairs. While he was sitting there, he decided to start beating his head into the back of the chair. This is the helmet that we use for inmates upstairs that continues to beat their head. And we finally got some room open in isolation housing, so we're going to take him upstairs right now. Control copy. Have you done that before? Yeah. Every, every time you come in here? No. No, no. never. It's fine. We're good. See if he cools down. He's still a little bit aggressive. He wants to fight everybody. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, man. I tried really hard. Can I tell you something? I could give a life. Why? Because you guys don't get what I have to say in the beginning. We're good. Could be a baby if they're dumb. If he doesn't cool down and he keeps beating his head, they're gonna have to restrain his hands and his feet. Uh, you guys are retarded. Hopefully he tries to cool down a little bit so they don't have to go to that route, so but we'll see. What'd you get arrested for? I don't know. You don't know? Is that he who brought you here? He came to my house this morning and I asked him, what the hell are you doing? I didn't have anything to say to him at all, period, full stop. Can you get this off? You keep pumping it up. But you, you gotta keep moving. moving. That's we'll fine. take it off then, because oh, it's powerful. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. My yeah. little hand's going. That's usually what blue. happens when a blood pressure. Yeah, well, don't do that. <laughs> well, do me a favor. Just keep. I know, I'm not violent at all. I just I get annoyed because I'm pulled out of my place. Are you from England? I'm Australia. What's your last name? PJ. PJ? Yeah. What's your first name? PJ. PJ, PJ? Hey, Penelope, PJ. PJ. This is stupid. Can I wipe my nose? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No, she'll give it to you. Oh, sit down. Okay, fine. Sit down. No, no, you're not listening. You need to sit down. Take your hands off me, sit please. Down. Sit down. Okay. PJ, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> We've asked you quite a few times to sit down. Yeah, and I'm doing it. So sit, sit down. down. Don't sit do down. this. Please stop. Just sit down. Please. You need to sit down. Just listen to what they're saying. Yeah, well, get off of me, please. PJ, sit down. Sit down, and we'll down. take our hands off Goodness of you. Goodness me. Get me out of here. Come on. Sit down. There you go. There you All go. I want to do is wipe my nose, OK? Well, we're not hating you on that. Just you just listen to directions. No, you walk through the door, then say, oh, da, 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 da. Now you're going to go with this lovely officer right now. Oh, God. All right, just come you're have a seat back over right? here. Come okay. back over here. Can you get this off of me? Not yet. Come this way. Come on. Just sit down right here. Yeah. Sit down right here. Right there. Here you go. Can I go home now? No, you have to stay here for at least 12 hours. Why? Because of what you were charged with. I don't know yet. Ask him. Did you get into a fight with your roommate? No. Never mind. 
You have to take this off because I'm swelling up. What'd you bring her in here for today? Uh, we got called out to their house. Roommate's standing in the driveway. She's bleeding from her ear. And says that her roommate is still inside the house and that you know she's the one that did it. I tried to talk to her about what happened. She won't say anything. Um, ended up taking her into custody for bad TV and coercion by force. Once she got in the car, she became very, very verbal. She continued to yell to all the neighbors, help, help, I need the police. All right, well, thank you. You're Almost done. You can go out there and be with everybody else. And I have to listen to this guy. So now, you now you need to listen to me. Now you need to listen to me. Look what you did. Okay. Now you need to listen to me. And I told you, please right. take it off. And I just took it off. And then you said, don't like listen door, to so. you. You're mouthing off at me, and I'm going to listen to her. So who am I listening to? Listen to her. You're going to go ahead and have a seat in this back row. Sit down right here. Yeah. Sit down right here. If you get up for any reason, you need to raise your hand and ask. Do I talk with the young no, lady No, you're here? still talking oh, to me. To, you. to me. Okay. Just sit here? Just sit there. That's all you need I, to do I, is just um, sit there. Where's my lawyer or what? What's the deal here I don't know when your lawyer is. For now on, this is who you're going to talk This is who you're going to talk to you now. So you okay. are. And I'm going to go over this way. Just keep eye on her because she likes to wander around. All right. Okay. Um, Very good. Thanks. Thanks. So PJ still seems like she's a little bit agitated. Um, she's still being pretty loud out there. Hopefully in a little bit she'll calm down. Her night will get better for her. We're gonna go check on James and see how he's doing. Um, we put him in the chair because he was banging his head. Um, they take him out of the chair now and uh, we're just gonna check him out in two seat, make sure he's uh, doing okay. Hey James, how are you doing? Just take a sit right there. Please go make sure you're all right. What's, what's going on James? Did, uh, were you drinking last night? I drank uh, quite a bit. You drank too much, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Do you know why you're here in the cell? Because I got out of hand with the cops. Well, I'm not so much out of hand, just that you, you threatened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that what happens usually when you drink? Yeah. Uh, well, with the cops, yeah, and uh, you get out of hand sometimes. Do you remember banging your head? Yeah, I spoke okay. a few times. Uh, well, a little more than a few times there. Uh, you got a headache? A little bit, actually. Yeah. Just three okay. After you talk to the doctor, you get on with your uh, process here and... Yeah. All right. So I think uh, James is uh, kind of calmed down. Yeah, we'll have medical come back in and uh, check him out, have psych services, make sure he's not going to hurt himself, and uh, should be a wrap.